$36 an hour average. Um, but just give it a shot. What's the worst that's going to happen? Video contains sarcasm, dry humor, irony, and innuendos. Viewer discretion for the easily offended is advised. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, we survived another week. Uh, hopefully, you guys are getting ready to have a good weekend. Last day in Lincoln, and you're going to hit the road. So, we'll be doing some live live stream right along on the way back out to Washington. Uh, we're wrapping up today uh, with the uh, earn by time and we're going to be talking about cust not, not customer ratings, all kind of customer ratings. Uh, DoorDash has expanded the rating system um, to include shopping orders and you get all the lovely details behind that. We're going to talk about that breakdown, uh, how many shopping orders I exactly I've done and how much money I've made, roughly, on shopping orders versus uh, just regular food pickup orders. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the day. Um, we're actually just here at Chipoodle picking up this order. And yeah, Chipoodle. Also, I'll throw up on the screen, the miles are definitely not right. If you just look at how they're routing us, I can just basically do a one way and save it at least a mile, mile and a half. Makes no sense, but it's DoorDash, so when does it make sense? Burrito bowl, chips and salsa. Natea. Sometimes in Nebraska. I have arrived at Cuts. Come on, DoorDash. Yes, I'm at the right location. doubting one. Two dollar tip, 449 base. Kind of surprising on that one. All right, slim chicken, cinnamon toast crunch shake. That sounds really good. Uh, yeah, slim chickens, taking it downtown. Not a huge fan of it, but it's gonna be like it's gonna be five about five miles, not seven. Uh, is there anybody working? Hello. You got a pickup order? Yeah, for Riley. Uh, no, that's all right. As long as the juice box is in one of these bags. I'm not seeing the juice box. Uh, the, I guess he didn't hear me.
Did you have another water? Uh, no, I need the juice, the apple juice oh, for I'm the so order. Sorry about that. Mm. Great. Uh, oh, sorry, thanks. Have a good one. You too. I don't like their drink carriers here. <laughs> That's why I didn't want one. All right, let's not get ran over, preferably. Not, not my preferred way of uh, leaving this planet, doing DoorDash anyway. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Hello. Thank you. And another bag. Heck yeah. And straws are in there, so. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, tip or no tip? Okay, 570 base, $6 tip. I, again, kind of surprised, but all right. DoorDash has expanded their ratings uh, to include shopping orders now. And I got the update day before yesterday. So Monday. Door, DoorDash does updates all the time. It's not just one day of the week. And so I went through. I was like, okay, this is cool. 2,500. That is how many shopping orders I have done. 2,500. That is a lot of time spent in a store. And I actually really enjoy it. Um, uh, other than I don't like shopping for myself. But I think a lot of that is I don't like, I really just don't like spending money. But 2,500, and let's say just hypothetically, because I don't know the exact number, but we'll say an average of $15 per shopping order. Because I really, rarely, rarely will I ever accept an order less than like eight or nine bucks for a shopping order, unless it's super short and there's like one or two items and I can get it done. I mean, I've done six, seven dollar shopping orders that are usually one item going a mile. I can get in and out of that store just as quick, if not quicker, than it would be to go into a, a Wendy's or a Chipoodle to do that same six or seven dollars. But, so, for the math, uh, let's say I average fifteen dollars an order at twenty-five hundred shopping orders. That's thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. That is a lot of money. Uh, I guess <laughs> for twenty-five hundred deliveries. Now let's say you average seven dollars on a non-shopping order for twenty-five hundred. You're at seventeen thousand five hundred. you can make a lot more money doing shopping orders. I know a lot of you enjoy them. I know a lot of you don't enjoy them, refuse to do them, that's fine. Um, everybody's different, we're all out here for different reasons doing this. But if you're on the fence, whether you wanna do a shopping order or not, give it a try. Um, go into a store without the DoorDash app on. Just walk through the store figure out where things are at. Pretty much in my experience, whether I'm in Nebraska shopping at Hy-Vee, doing personal shopping at like Super Saver, 
Um, whether I'm in Washington doing Albertsons or Safeway or I have to go into a Target for you fancy Walmart people, uh, the layouts are pretty much the same. Your tortillas, your bread, all of that's going to be in one, one aisle. Uh, your soups, your mac and cheese, your chili is all going to be in probably in the same aisle or just adjoining aisles. Shopping orders you can make a lot of money on. I've, I've had $30 shopping orders. I've had a couple $40 shopping orders. I think I may have had a $50 shopping order on DoorDash once. But start out time. Well, no, that's what I do now. Uh, dollar to how much time it's going to take me. Items, I'm not going to go in for 50 items for 12 bucks. That's not going to happen. But when, if you're starting out, just do, say, accept a, a $12 order that's got 12 items or less. You can probably knock that out in 20 minutes. Still $36 an hour average um, but just give it a shot what's the worst that's gonna happen you're not gonna like doing shopping orders okay don't do them anymore but you can actually make a lot more money uh, which is nice it means that you don't have to spend as much time out here on the road start with stores that you know it's a good way to break the ice on those um, yeah, and let me know if you guys have got the expanded ratings now, because some of you have had them for a while. I just got them. And I know there's some of you that probably still don't. All right, uh, shared tea in uh, well, a Mexican restaurant. Going to the same customer. I did not get a screenshot. That completely had a brain fade. Though, uh, yeah, for Eliza. Yep, there you go. Great, thank you. You too. So, I don't know why I try to walk out the window and not the door. Additional notes. Please pick up carefully. The orders do not take like a backpack. I wish I would have been here to see that. I got an order for Eliza. Thank you. Let's say one eight seven, I guess. One eight seven. Was that the name of a Samuel L. Jackson movie? So here in the building name, which is weird because it's a house, it says, "May you get extra salsa, please." Why not put it in the drop-off instructions? Or just never mind. Never mind. Um, they're both went to the same customer. That doesn't help me at all. The <laughs> Come on, DoorDash. All right, I went from 55.37 to 68.62, so like 13 bucks and some change. All right, we got us a Raisin Canes. At this point, I don't remember how many miles because we've been sitting in traffic for a hot minute. How's it going? Doing good. Just need to get a three finger combo with a fountain drink and three extra cane sauce. Anything else? That is it.
What's this for here to go? It's a DoorDash. DoorDash. And what's the name for that? Uh, Gustavo. All right. It's going to be 11.30 for you. There we go. Four times the charm. Yeah. Great, thanks. We're last for the stop and yep. we'll All right, guys, this Great. is a wonderful day. You do, thank, thank you. you. No, guys, she is not working today. Sorry to burst your bubble. Oh, that was my funny bone. Uh, I, why do they call it the funny bone? It ain't funny. It hurts. Wrong answers only. I do have to say, earned by time has been fairly decent. It's like anything else. Some days are good, some days are not. And $2 tip, I mean, that would have been a $4 order on per order, so. We got a mellow mushroom and the loud motorcycle behind us. I got an order for Robert. Robert? I think it's this one. It's just me and Justine? I think so, so far. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Dylan, that's a little bit ago. Pretty boy? What? Pretty boy? Done? Yeah. Pretty boy. Well, we had two Dylan, so that's what you refer to that Dylan. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Appreciate it. See you, man. Probably not. Oh, we had to park around the corner. I didn't Main Street here. Door. Open the door. Have a good one. Opened up the door really fast. They must have been hungry. 595 base, 550 tip for 1145. All right, we are done. We are done for the day. Um, it was okay. Nothing, nothing to write home about. But uh, speaking of, we're gonna start our trek back tomorrow, which. I guess by the time you guys see this, we'll be back. So, um, anyway, for the day, we were online for six hours and 17 minutes, completing 14 deliveries, all on earned by time for $108.88. Uh, we drove 51 miles, averaging $2.13 a mile. Dollar to mile, con considering, you know, it was earned by time. Definitely not bad. Uh, went through about two gallons of fuel. So 610, I'm paying like 305 a gallon here. And uh, for the dollar challenge, we're putting $14 in because we didn't go to a store once. But on that note, I am at the storage unit. You can probably see in the background. And uh, I'm gonna get my storage unit cleaned out and packed up. So appreciate you guys as always for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Any orders appreciated, except for those $2 ones. We know that. And uh, I'll be back on Monday. So you guys have fun. Have a good weekend. Mm -hmm.